Hey there, my name is Lassa, and this video will show you some of my past and present work arranged into categories including touch interaction, graphics, interactive entertainment, and miscellaneous. First up, touch interaction. Tap drag, an alternative dragging technique on medium-sized multi-touch displays reducing skin irritation and arm fatigue. Long interaction periods with large touch devices lead to some uncomfortable skin irritation and arm fatigue. We developed and tested a novel interaction technique to substitute long distance dragging with short tap gestures. This new type of gesture was thoroughly tested within subjects compared to traditional dragging with favorable results. Plan Makes Play, a novel audio video live performance instrument. Designed and tested together with DJs and visual artists, Plan Mix Play is a novel performance instrument that repurposes classic timeline editing interaction for live performances. This frees the artists from time itself, allowing him or her to construct a more involved experience in a live context. Social media integration is another novel aspect of this instrument. As remote performances become more common, this feature becomes more appealing over time. Graphics 3D Texture Synthesis – Generation of 3D Textures from 2D Texture Input The wide availability of 2D textures make them ideal sources of inspiration to generate plausible 3D textures. I re-implemented a state-of-the-art algorithm and applied it for the purposes of creating more realistic tissue textures. PortCAD – Volumetric Visualization, Interpolation and Haptic Interaction Despite being global leaders in pork export, Danish Crown still relied on photos to communicate product development. As part of a digitization initiative, I implemented and tested a pork product prototyping interface, visualizing actual CT scanned pork data, and interacted with using a haptic feedback pen. Interactive Entertainment Computer-aided board gaming, augmented reality train game, both virtual and augmented reality have always fascinated me. In an effort to learn more about augmented reality, I implemented a homography-based pose estimator from the ground up and designed a simple augmented reality-based train game. As you can see from some of the early footage, I initially played around with the idea of creating a tower defense game, which ended up not being feasible. Gaze Train Gaze-controlled casual game the previous project caught the attention of my then PhD supervisor who proposed adapting the game to be controlled by gaze. People who rely on gaze interaction have a severely limited choice when it comes to gaming, so this project was all about contributing a little to the pile. At the core, it's a simple twist on the old Pipe Dreams game. Dolores, National Academy for Digital Interactive Entertainment Candidate Project. In 2006, the National Academy for Digital Interactive Entertainment first launched their initiative to bolster future game development. As a programmer in one of the first five small teams, I helped repurpose the 2006 sparsely documented but well-designed source engine by Valve. I'm still amazed that we ended up with a beginning-to-end playable 15-minute story-based game, having never worked with the engine prior to that. Miscellaneous Posted Art easily removable fetching art. This was a very short passion project, completed over the better part of two weekends, making the most out of a blank white wall in downtown Tokyo. Robotics, mini scale unwanted materials removal specialists. We repurposed two small robots to act as automatic garbage disposal units. One picks up a paper cube and hands it to the other across a wall. Thanks for checking out some of my work. If you want to know more, you can visit my website or reach me by email.